Hello, welcome to another Research Methods for the Biosciences screencast for SPSS. This screencast covers section 10.4, two sample Z and T tests for matched data. Often in the biosciences we measure an aspect of the same individual organism or objects before and after the application of a treatment with the purpose of understanding whether that treatment causes a change in the measured attribute. For instance, in the example detailed in section 10.4 of the book, we look at the weight loss due to competing in a one-day fencing competition by measuring the weight of the individuals before and after competing. Such data is called matched or paired data and is useful since it minimizes the number of confounding variables that would be present if we measured a different set of individuals before and after the competition. The size of the before and after samples is 13 individuals and so we would use a t-test. For a larger sample of 30 or more values, it is common practice to use the Z-test. However, when the sample size is more than 30, then the Z and T tests give very similar outcomes and both can be used. For this reason, most computer programs do not implement two sample Z tests for paired data as a simple menu selection. Thus, this screencast will only cover T tests and you should use this test for the larger sample sizes you encounter or see the book on how to do the Z test by hand. So let's do the test. I've entered the data from table 10.4 into SPSS. This is how I've set my variables up. To do the test, we track up to Analyze, down to Compare Means, and then down to Paired Sample T-Test in the submenu that appears, and click. A window opens. I now need to tell SPSS which variables I'm going to use. I'm going to select the weight before, and also select weight after by pressing Shift when I click the mouse button. I can now use the arrow to enter both those variables in the paired variable box under the first variable pair. I now press OK. This test produces three boxes in the output window and we are interested in the third box, the last column, which states a significance of less than 0, 0.000. To find out the exact significance, I'm going to double click on the box, a second window opens and now hover over the significance value. And SPSS tells me the exact significance is 0 0.000283. So what is the meaning of the p-value? A p-value of 1 means we can accept the null hypothesis as true, whereas a p-value of 0 means we can accept the null hypothesis as untrue. As we travel from a p-value of 1 to 0, the transition point between true and untrue is set at 0 0.05 in the biological sciences. The smaller the p-value below 0.05, the more confident we can be in rejecting the null hypothesis. A significance of 0.000283 is below our transition value of 0.05, so that we can state there is a significant difference between the samples and reject our null hypothesis. We can now accept our alternative hypothesis that there is a difference between the mean weights of individuals before and after a fencing competition. I hope you found this screencast helpful. For further information on how to use this test, or the theory behind it, then please consult the book. More information on how to use the program to perform the test can be found in our online web guides located in the Resource Centre. Thank you for listening.